All right, guys, today we're going to review some of our old vowel pairs and we're going to talk about two new vowel, actually three new vowel pairs. The first thing I want to do is review the sounds we learned about last week. We learned about some vowel pairs that make the I sound. The first one I want us to look at is Mr. I and Mr. E. We know that when two vowels go out walking, only the first one is going to do the talking. So we see here that Mr. I is going to say his name and Mr. E is going to quietly look for Red Robot. So all we're going to hear is I like pie or tie. <clears throat> the next sound we learned about from last week is I-G-H. We know that when Golden Girl is beside Harry Hatman, she has to work very quiet and work very hard to be quiet so that she doesn't disturb Harry Hatman. So all that we hear is I like high on the shelf or tight or right. Those are all different words that we hear, the I, I, G, H sound. Now, <clears throat> when we st uh, first started learning about magic E with Mr. U, we talked about how Mr. U can make two sounds. He can say you or ooh. Today we're gonna to learn about three different sets of letters that make the ooh or you sound. The first one we're gonna learn about is EU. EU works together like a very normal vowel team. When we see EU, we know that Mr. U is waving and ready to make his sound and say his name. And Mr. E is going to quietly be our lookout man looking for Red Robot. So we know that these two letters can either say U or U. Say the sounds with me. U, U. Let's do it again. U, ooh. We're going to spell a couple of words using this U or OO sound. The first one that I would like to spell is the word glue. Glue. Think about the beginning of that word. What do you hear? G, O, O. What kind of a blend do you hear at the beginning of that word? I heard an L blend. G, O, O. Let's rubber band that one together. Make sure we don't leave out any sounds. Ready? G, O, O, glue, glue. When we make a craft, sometimes we have to use glue to get things to stick. The next word that I would like to spell, we're just going to change one letter and I want you to tell me what letter it is. I want to make this not say glue, I want it to say blue. Blue. What do I need to switch? I need to take out Golden Girl and I need to put Bouncy Ben. Very good. Ready? Bull. Ooh. I want you to read it with me. Bull. Ooh. Blue. Do you hear you or ooh in that word? Blue. I heard ooh. Now the next word that we're going to spell still has U-E in it. But U-E is so excited to be in this word that Mr. U works really, really hard to make sure that he is saying his name. The word is rescue. Help me sound this word out. R-E-S-C-U. This one has lots of letters. Let's go from the very beginning. R. Okay, I know that's Red Robot. blend. Let me think. It's an S blend, but I know sk 
It's probably not going to be SK. It's going to be SC. Let's read this word together. Let's rubber band this one. It's a really big one. Ready? R S K U. Resk you rescue. There we go. Look at all those sounds we had in there to make the word rescue. Awesome job. The next two sounds we're going to learn about. These two letters sometimes like to run really, really fast when we're um, um, when they're working together, and sometimes they're they're running so fast we haven't even been able to get a picture of them together. So when we see Mr. U and Mr. I, Mr. U likes to run really fast. And so does Mr. I. So he's running to keep up with him. He's chasing after him. But because they're running so fast, they're, they're out of breath. And so they can't even make their full sound. And so when we see U and I, they're only going to say, ooh. When we see U and I, they're only going to say, ooh. We could even show them like this because we're not even going to hear any I sounds. Just like a vowel pair, we're going to hear ooh. Say it with me. Ready? You and I says ooh. Very good. Now, I'm going to spell some words with you and I. And most of the time when we see you and I in the middle of a word or in a word, it's going to be in the middle. It's now going to be on the end, and it's normally not on the beginning. I want us to think of how I can spell this word. Fruit. Fruit. What sound did you hear at the beginning? I heard another blend. Was it an L blend? Was it an S blend? Or was it an R blend? Fruit. Good, it's an R blend. F R F R U T fruit. My favorite fruit is watermelon. What is yours? Let's read this word together. F R U T fruit. Very good. The next one I'd like to spell is juice. Juice. I like to drink orange juice with my breakfast. Now you probably already know that first sound that was at the very beginning. What letter do I need to make the J sound? J. Very good. J. O. S. Now you're probably thinking, oh, Miss Bowers, that's just an S to make juice. But let's look at that. If we put an S on the end. Does that look like a word you've seen before? It's not a word I've seen before. Now, there's another we know about a letter that has some blue magic that turns a couple letters into some different sounds. We know one of these is when Miss or uh, when Magic E shoots his blue magic to Clever Cat and he starts to make a slithery sound. Let's see if this looks like a word that you might know. J -o -s. Does that look like a word that you've seen before? J -o -s. Juice. Yes, that is how you spell juice. It's got that special C-E blue magic on the end. The last word that we're going to spell, and I want you to see if you can spell this one all by yourself, is the word Suit. This one doesn't have any tricky sounds in it. It's exactly like you would think. Suit. Suit. We know we have our oo sound in the middle. What letter do I need at the very, very beginning? S. Very good. Suit. T. -t, -t. T. Great job. Let's rubber band this one together. Ready? Suit. Suit. Excellent job. Now, the last two, or um, uh, the last sound that we're going to learn about today, the last sound we're going to learn about today is E 
W. Now, what do we know about Walter Walrus? What does he like to do to people? He loves to splash people. We know that he likes to splash on R and he likes to splash on O. He also wants to splash on Mr. E, or not on Mr. E, on Eddie Elephant. He wants to splash Eddie Elephant. But if you look at this picture, what does it look like Eddie Elephant is doing? He is going to spray Walter Walrus before he has the chance to splash him. Eddie knows that Walter loves to tease, but before he can tease him, Eddie Elephant squirts water right at him. Walter is so surprised he cries out, Ooh, you! Like, I can't believe you would splash me with water. It's going to say, Ooh, or you. Just like Mr. U and Mr. E can say, Ooh, or you. EW is going to say, Ooh, or you as well. Let's spell a couple of words before we uh, hear our story for E-W. Most of the time, E-W is going to go on the end of a word. So let's hear our first word that we're going to spell. N-ooh. New. What do I need at the beginning to make the word new? Noisy nit. N. Very good. N. Ooh, new. Excellent. The next word that I'm going to spell is ch. Ooh, chew. If we are hearing that word, what two letters do we know work together to make the ch sound? CH. Very good. CH is going to work together to make the ch sound in ch. Ooh, chew. Um, we have two more before we're going to listen to our story. I want to spell the word g, r, u, grew, like you grew a lot while we were away. What two letters do we need to make the g, r sound? G, r. Very good. Gr, u. Grew. Let's rubber band that one to make sure we don't miss any of those sounds. Ready? Grr, ooh, grew. Stretch it out. Very good. The last one. All of the all of the words we've done so far. New, chew, grew. All had the ooh sound. Listen to this one. Few. Few. Can E-W make the U sound? It sure can. Few. What letter do we need? F. Let's finger tap it. Ready? U. Few. Very good. Now, if I saw this word, I might be thinking, oh, I don't know that one. But there's a chunk of this word that you do know. You do know E-W. You know that E-W can say ooh or you. When we're sounding this word out, we can say f ooh, foo. That's not a word that I know. We also know the other sound, f you. Let's see if that would be a word that we know. F you, few. That is a word that we know. That's a great strategy. Those are great tools to figure out words that we may not know. The last thing we're going to do before we go today, we're going to hear our story for E-W and look for some of the things in our picture that might help us to remember some of these words. Here is our story. We know Walter Walrus is a troublemaker. He loves to tease and, Ed and Eddie Elephant does not like being splashed. So when Eddie finds himself next to Walter Walrus, in a word, he always acts first. He uses his trunk to squirt water at Walter instead. Walter is so surprised, he cries out, Ooh, you, I can't believe you. That's why when you see Eddie Elephant and Walter Walrus together in a word, 
you can be sure to hear oo or you. In this picture, Walter and Eddie are on the deck of a new ship. A crew member is busy handing out a few bags of cashew nuts. There's a lovely view. And there's a man interviewing a fine lady in jewels for the news. The steward is bringing them some delicious stew served with new potatoes. You would think Walter and Eddie would be happy, but oh no, Eddie just blew some more water at Walter. All right, guys, come back tomorrow for some quick dash review. Today, all that you need to do is read over your new list of words. If you have time and you would like to, you can go on um, to child.letterland.com and um, you can log in and, and you can review some of our stories and sounds. All right, guys, have a great Monday.